Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I do this little beaver terrier's head and how I band her and um, and because this is the one that was in full coat that you saw a little earlier. So I'm going to show you how I do her head. Now, whenever you get dogs like this in as puppies, you don't want to cut under her, their eyes. If you can avoid cutting the hair under their eyes, then it will never grow up, grow out and poke them in the eyes as it starts to grow. So just let it grow. You see how long her hair is here? Come here, little girl. You see how long it is? It's never been cut. So you're better off letting it grow like that because it just it, it just looks nicer, you know? And you know how when you cut under the eyes, the hair will start to grow and it pokes, up, um, pokes them up in the eyes. So you're better off letting it grow. So what you need here is a rat tail comb. It's a comb that you get at any store, um, a people comb with a rat tail. Okay, so what we want to do here is band her from the outside corner of the eye and up. So you can kind of get it started just by pulling, but what you want to do is make sure you get straight parted lines. So use your rat tail and do a straight cut on both sides. And the reason why you want nice clean lines is if you, if you don't have clean lines, when you put your band in, that hair will start to pull. The hair that's not even, um, it will start to pull and it'll make them scratch and itch. And um, so straight, nice clean lines is, is good. Okay, so I'm gonna take the hair behind, right before her occiput. And I'm gonna band this. Take that up, and of course they shake as soon as you do this. <laughs> so you have to hold on to it tight, comb that up. Make sure it's not, you're not getting any of the ear hair, because then that will pull also. You don't want the hair to pull and make them itch. So make sure that you get it, you don't take that ear hair, and take all this up. All the little stray hairs. And then take a nice little band. And we're gonna band it right toward the back so it stays out of our face. Wrap it three times. Okay. Okay, then what you want to do is make sure it's not too tight. Make sure you get that band in nice. And if it feels a little tight, then you need to loosen that up. So pull it away from the scalp a little bit just to loosen it. And then what I like to do is pull a little bit of the center forward. It gives them like a little bubble like that. Okay, so once I put that band in, now I can work on her ears and I'm going to take her ear and we're going to kind of fold it in half and that's how much you want cut on that. So her owner likes it short on the inside and outside. You don't have to do the outside if you don't want to. You can just clip the inside, but this is about a 15 blade. On the outside, come here, honey. It's pretty short right now. I think the owner does a little bit at home. So, but take that ear and come right off. And then I'm gonna put my clipper up to a 40 blade. This is one of those uh, adjustable blade clippers, which is something that you may want to invest in at some time. It really works well for these little dogs and uh, it's just a trimmer. It's not really a clipper. This is the Bravira, uh, Bravira by Wall and I really like it. You see how I kind of come off into my finger? That edges that ear for me so I don't have to do a lot of scissoring. Okay, get that nice and tight. That's all we do with their ears is just do the top part. 
And you know, they tend to get, they tend to look kind of stringy when they're really um, thin like this. So you can't really help that. But just don't use a shampoo that's gonna make it worse. Now I'm gonna take these little um, fly away broken pieces off. Comb this down. Comb that up. I don't really want to cut any of that. But the little eyelashes and little um, eye, um, eye, um, yeah, eyelashes and little stray hairs you can trim off just to make it look nice and neat. And then the her little tips are showing. Now, if you wanted to um, neaten up the chin, you could, but I didn't ask her if I could do this. She's a new client that I just took on, so I might take my little thinning shears and just neaten that up just a little bit. But I don't want to do too much because I didn't ask her about that. So anyway, there she is. And then once you do your ponytail, you can trim the end if they, if they want it trimmed. Um, you can use, you also use a little hairspray there if you want to. And then you can put in a bow. Um, a little Christmas bow. Just like that. 